Hey folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. So I'm out shooting some shots in RAW and JPEG and my Fuji X-T2 and there's lots of reasons why you might want to do that but the reason why I'm doing it is so that I can get larger previews because the embedded preview in the JPEG is quite small in Fuji. So I'm going to show you how Lightroom handles this. It's got two options that you can have and how you can make the most of JPEG and RAW inside Lightroom. There are plenty of reasons that you might want to shoot a JPEG file with giraffe. You might want to have a reference photo. In the case of the Fuji X-T2, I would sometimes shoot a large JPEG because the preview that's built into the RAW file, or the RAW file as they're called, with Fuji is only half the size of the full preview. So by shooting a large JPEG, it allows you to zoom in in camera and see more detail. Now you may not want to keep these JPEGs. They just take up space on the drive after all. Uh, the Fuji JPEGs themselves are beautiful and could easily be used as a finished file, especially when used with film simulations. Now, you may not want this, you may just not want to have those files because of that space, but by default, uh, Lightroom brings them in as JPEG and RAF pairs. You don't even see the JPEG when you're doing import. If we have a look at this image here, we can see that this is a RAF plus JPEG. So that means the two files are seen as one, which isn't particularly good for me if I want to delete the JPEG. I have to manually go to the drive and select them on the drive and things like that. But what I can do is I can make changes. And the reason why this is coming like this is in the Lightroom Preferences menu, this option here, Treat JPEG Files Next to Raw Files as Separate Photo, is unticked. So let's see what that looks like when we import. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit so we can see it better. So I click Import. So I click Untitled. And we can now see, this is the one I've already imported, but we can see here that these are all just RAF files. Now I did shoot large JPEG on the disk with this, so there should be JPEGs there as well, but there's not. So I'm going to click Cancel. I'm going to go back to Preferences. And I'm going to select that option, Treat JPEG Files Next to Raw Files as Separate Photos. So that's done now, and now I'm going to go back to Import. So automatically you can see here, that the JPEG files are treated separately. Now this one here is telling me that the JPEG that I had attached here can now be imported. So I'm just going to click import. And I'm going to go to the folder that these are in. So I'm going to right click on that. Now it's given us a dash two. And the reason for that is it doesn't want to overwrite a file that's already there. I'm going to go to folder and library so we can actually see them with the other images that are in the folder. So you can see here that we have a JPEG. This is still a RAF plus JPEG. If I wanted, what I could have done was deleted the JPEG here and I would have re-imported that with, without the dash two on it. So you can see here we have the RAF and we have the JPEG file. So if you want to keep your JPEG separate, you do need to use that option in preferences. Again, it's on the edit menu in PC. Treat JPEG files next to raw files as separate photos. So hopefully that was useful to you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more content coming on board and stuff like that. Check out my presets if you haven't seen them. And leave a comment if you want. Thanks a million for watching.